Take it out, outside Take the, the end, back, open club up. face. There you go. Very nice. Take the next one. Oh, that was one more time. So, so, so what's your feeling from the top from there? Um, you explained there, to me that well, your body was going to go first. And then I wait for I, my shoulder's my trigger. Okay. As soon as I see where my where I want my shoulder to be, then I can swing down outside. Now my body's a little bit ahead, and then my club face is Okay, over. but you said your body starts first to hit it left or right. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it is a little. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay. Well. Why don't you let that body move Plus, first and let the arms flow with the body from outside to Consistency isn't in. really my key right now. I want you to hit one more. I want you to exaggerate. Open up your stance. Right. Open it up like you're going to hit it around a, a tree and you've got to hit it around a pine to a green to the right. And take it straight outside to inside with it and hold the face using your body from the top. Yeah. Does it help to have the ball forward a little bit in the stance or cut? It depends on what kind of height you want to hit it, too. Okay, that's good. And I, I feel the best it's worked for me on hitting a, a fade, a cut, however you want, would like to put it. I, I like to move it up. Okay. It's just, it's worked best for me. Um, back, that little further back in the stance, I feel like I can hit like the lower, you know, more penetrating you know, right to left ball flight. Yeah. Um, third most common ball flight law, Tony. Straight. I put this the hard one on you. Yeah, yeah. obviously. And what's straight mean to you? What, uh, what kind of club head pass? What kind of swing pass? What you, you tell me? What kind of release as well? Uh, I would say the pass is going to be more inside out. Straight or square, you know, the club face you want to keep it square. You can try and get the arms and the body to connect, to connect at the same time. That's that's correct. You know, it's it's probably the hardest golf shot in golf. It's what you know. It's your favorite golf shot to try to perfect. At least it's mine. Um, you know, I, I feel like that. You know, your stance has got to be square, shoulders, hips. Um, and timing is key. Yeah. Time is key at impact. I, I like how you said that. You know, everything has got to be square, like your setup. It's got to come right back to the same spot. And I like that you said. You know, maybe a, your natural kind of setup too. You know, to maybe your natural setup is a little right. Mm -hmm. So square. You know, a, a little bit of a, a shut club face at, at impact to you know square it up. Yeah. So let's let's see if I can demonstrate one for you. The way I would do this, I would just try to take it straight back and straight through, which has worked for me over the years, and we'll see if it does now. All right, Tony. My turn? Your turn. That, that, that ball started a little right, faded. So, so what, what did I do there to make that ball flight go a little right? Uh, either your body went first, a little ahead of your arm. What, what, what kind of pass is that? Uh, outside to in. That is not correct. <laughs> that was a little inside to out. Say? So think about it. What think about it how you're outside oh, to okay. in. Outside to in. So you want so my, my pass is a little inside to out with an open face. Right. So, so, where does it, so that starts right and goes right. right. Okay. So we're, we're trying okay. to... <laughs> Let's, let's demonstrate the straight, you got it. square to square. Tony, oh, very nice. Yeah, take that. He's actually aimed up there. That was pretty good. That was straight back, straight through. I, I like the action at, at impact. It was square. Maybe a little bit of shot club face, uh -huh. but let, let's try one more. Okay. 
I like that. I like that you hit that one. What do you think your swing path was there? Uh, probably inside out. Because it's a little too open. That was pretty square to open. Uh huh. When I mean, you were square right on top of the ball with an open club face, so it started straight right. and went right. Okay. I like that. So, Davey, what do you want me to do? I want you to demonstrate a straight to straight shot. I know I'm, you, I'm good at straight. I would uh, I'd pick a target, first of all. I'd just like that little piece of grass there. You told me last week you didn't like targets. I did. You said straight, so I got no. Okay, and then I would, I think it comes straight, just straight. Straight, straight, straight. Straight. Look at that. Oh, great. That's perfect. I'm a straight. <laughs> yeah, do it again. Let me demonstrate what Mr. Davey just did. I don't know if I can do it, but it, it was actually pretty well done. Mr. Davey did have a very square stance to his target, square shoulders, square <laughs> hips, and he took the club straight back to straight on top of the golf ball with a square face. And it, it produced, that's great. And it that's produced a straight shot. Great. Straight ball flight. I don't even want to demonstrate that one because I can't do it again. <laughs> but, uh, you know, those are the three most common ball flights that, that you'll see out there. People try to work on, um, you know, I, I understand that, you know, it kind of plays your ability, what kind of shot you'd like to hit. You know, you're going to have, I, I feel like you have to have all three to, to I wouldn't say perfect the golf swing, but to, to better your game. You're going to be in situations where you can hit it behind a tree, you can hit it behind a foot. Um, you know, I, but uh, the hardest one is the one that Mr. Davey did, and he should be on tour now. <laughs> I didn't get over the water, though. <laughs> Correct. Well, I appreciate it, gentlemen. Uh, I'll see you in level three. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.